I'm cozy in bed. It's raining. Um, and I'm super tired. So, in the past week, um, I have decided I don't want the kyphoplasty. And, um, I just, I have, because I'm running out of time before the CAR-T, and so my back doesn't hurt as bad as it did. I feel like my ribs hurt worse. And so I want to just get on the radiation train. So, um, COVID is, it's been over two weeks. I still have some sinus congestion. I feel like my body right now, it's just, and this is how it's been, is my immune is so low that it just doesn't heal any, like, it seems like it can't heal things. <clears throat> like, Orion, my husband, he got COVID five days ago, maybe six. He's already feeling much better. It wasn't too bad. He didn't need oxygen or cough like I did, and he's already feeling better. I'm still obviously having congestion. And so everything takes longer. I keep getting like styes in my eye that are just not healing or like a zit. The zit won't go away. Like my body is not able to heal itself. That makes me nervous and worried. Anyway, so I went to um, radiation yesterday and they marked the little tattoos. I got five tattoos so I can tell my kids I I have tattoos now that they're going to radiate um, starting Monday. So um, at first it was going to be 10 doses of radiation. And I said, I have a time limit because I'm supposed to also be on a washout uh, for radiation two weeks before the CAR-T. Um, so he's my, the radiation doctor is going to do five rounds of stronger radiation. So that starts Monday, but they're obviously closed Thanksgiving and um, the day after. And so I can do three next week and then two the next week. And hopefully that gives me enough time for a washout. I also um, stopped oral chemo last night. I didn't take any. I'm done with that because I need two weeks of washout on that. And things are just moving real fast. Like, um, I have a bone marrow bi biopsy next week, and then the next week, the 27th, I'm supposed to get a central line, and then do three doses, um, for three different days, three doses of IV chemo. So, I don't have a date for the CAR-T yet, which I, um... I would really love to just have a date anytime after the 4th. And of course, me, I've asked my doctors, I'm like, what if I still feel sick? What if I'm still weak? Like, I I don't want to go into the transplant feeling this weak and sick. Um, but I doubt they want to postpone it. Of course, me, I'm like, can we do it in January? So I'll feel better and stronger. I know... Part of it is I just have to do it so my body can get rid of the cancer so I can heal myself and not get sick and help with my back and my ribs. And yeah, I've been way more fearful, a lot more fearful about my stage of cancer right now. So that's my update right now. And um, I've done some more things around the house and because um, I can move a little bit better, but then I take it a little bit too far and my back hurts. Here's my little buddy. I'm up, I'm showered, and I just got back from my first radiation at Huntsman. So it all kind of happened um, real fast because uh, I needed the radiation in enough time to recover from it and 
um, have it be out of my body by the time I have a CAR T cell transplant. So they got me in today. Today's Friday the 17th, I believe. Um, they're doing radiation on Sunday because they're going to take Thursday and Friday off for the holidays for Thanksgiving and then I'll get it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I'll have five doses of stronger radiation all completed before Thanksgiving. And um, I'm really grateful that they got all this these in so that I can have that done and maybe that will help with my rib pain. But the CAR T-cell transplant should also help with all of this. And so the kyphoplasty has been put on hold indefinitely and I might not ever do it. Um, if I did, I would have to be in quite a bit of pain after the CAR-T and everything like that and still feeling like I need uh, cement in my vertebrae. <clears throat> anyway, um, so that's what's happening. I still feel... Uh, just kind of, you know, low level, sick, sinus. Like, it's just, I don't know, maybe this is the first time, it's not the first, but it definitely just feels like I can tell that my body cannot heal itself. And that is what is really frustrating. It makes me feel like, am I ever gonna feel good again? Or not sick, or not weak, or not um, so fragile. Um, yeah, because I just feel weak and tired. Weak and tired. Um, I'm just sitting in the hot tub, trying to have uh, all the things in my body that ache, not ache so much. Ouch. Um, I have been really fearful lately. Um, you know thinking about my own mortality and uh, I think it makes it so much more real as I watch my mom have cancer and die of cancer and um, I feel like that's totally possible for me too and I feel like right now multiple myeloma is just ravaging my body and um, like I'm so fearful right now I feel like um, like, am I going to even make it to the CAR T cell transplant? I know that's totally morbid, but that's how fearful I feel right now. That my body's just not, not healing things. Like, simple, simple things. Like, I think I did this in another video, but this was just two zits, like blemishes. That normally would just be gone in like a day or two. Still here. Like, you probably can't see him, but I've got like styes, like multiple styes that keep popping up that just won't go away. Um, <clears throat> just little things that won't. It's just, they won't, I, I will not, I can't heal, I'm not healing. And bones just hurt and like my right hip hurts a lot. I'm sure it's more lesions. Um, and I did start radiation yesterday, so my next dose is tomorrow, Sunday, and then I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So this week is also um, bone marrow biopsy and labs to get a baseline before I do the CAR-T. So um, I'm just sorry these, these last videos have just been so depressing because that's where I'm at. Like I'm trying to have hope and, and I'm, um, I'm more fearful. I'm truly scared. So, that's where I'm at. Hopefully the next, uh, the next one will be a little more chipper and have, and feel, I don't know, at least I'll be done with radiation by Thanksgiving. I just hope I feel good enough to enjoy Thanksgiving. Um, so... That's it for now.